It is 613 and many of us grew up going to the Apple Festival. The same goes for our parents and grandparents. It's a tradition in the community for families with many returning activities that we enjoy, but organizers find a way to bring new life to the event this year as well. Our Brooks Slyer, Brooke Slyer is there live this morning to fill us in. Brooke. Yeah, good morning, Dave. As you just said, I'm here in downtown Murfreesboro for the Apple Festival, which kicks off this evening. It's the 70th year for this event. So, you know, it's been in the community for a long time, a lot of traditions, but there are a couple of new things this year, and one of them I'm going to give away in the 6.30 uh, newscast, but right now I'm joined by Sean. Sean, I was just uh, singing on there a little Judy Garland, you know, clink, clink, clink goes the trolley. And tell me about this trolley right here behind us. Well, it's a trolley that we actually purchased several years ago. And uh, eventually we got to actually getting looking at refurbishing it. And the Murfreesboro Reentry Center, the Life Skills Construction Class uh, by Jason Winkleman. He's the actual instructor out there. They've done several projects with us. Most of you remember in 2018 mm -hmm. that they did our bakery. Which looks and, fabulous. Yes, it does. And uh, they also have got new benches. With folks come down, you'll see that there's new benches. They were do they do they actually were slated to do in 2019, and we actually got them done this year, of course. But the trolley is the big one. As Jason said, this was a frame off restoration. It was like building a house mm -hmm. and a trailer at the same time, and they absolutely knocked it out of the park. Uh, they did a fantastic job on it. We pull it in the parade with for apple blossom. The seats actually come out so we can use it for different aspects of the festival. And we are so tickled to death to have the uh, reentry center as a partner. They are just wonderful for us. Absolutely. And it's really quickly amazing to see the before and after. Just all the work that they put into this. Yes. And he did say it was like building a house and then building a trailer. <laughs> but uh, they had it for well over a month. And uh, they were so excited that they... They had people coming in from Springfield to actually look at it and wouldn't let us pick it up uh, until the next day. So uh, it was really cool that they uh, that they were excited about working on it just as equally as well as we were. But they they knocked it out of the park for us, and we appreciate them. Well, this trolley is just one of the new things will be happening right here at the Apple Festival this year. I'll be giving you a sneak peek and a kind of a debut, I guess you could say, of one of the other new things happening a little later on the show. But for now, Nick, I'm starting to feel those raindrops. Yeah, a few showers and storms now making their way into parts of western Jackson County, and they're not the only one seeing some wet weather here to start the day. A cold front moving in from the north, and it's a very slow moving front, helping to uh, develop some showers and storms through the overnight hours. We've been tracking these really all night long, and some areas have picked up on just a lot of rain. Others still haven't seen a drop yet. In fact, uh, much of south.